Hi, this is Rajesh Kumar. Uh, now I am going to present a paper on Cyber Credit Card System. In this project, I am going to explain that what is Cyber Credit Card and what is the difference between uh, normal credit card and the Cyber Credit Card and what are the security standards provided to this Cyber Credit Card and what is the drawbacks in the existing credit card and what are the proposed system used to uh, improve the security for the Cyber Credit Card and then um, the special feature in the Cyber Credit Card that is a uh, one-time password and also uh, I am going to explain this uh, embedded microprocessor um, Cyber Credit Card. First, what is Credit Card? Credit Card is nothing but it is a payment card which is issued by the bank authority to the user uh, allow the user to uh, pay for our services or goods. And before um, entering to the cyber credit card, what is the difference between uh, credit card and uh, normal uh, payment card? Uh, credit card is a um, payment card which is uh, which allow the user to uh, pay for the goods or money if uh, they didn't have the money in his account. Uh, and uh, uh, payment card industry. Payment card industry is nothing but which is uh, used to improve the security to the cyber card, uh, cyber credit card system and online transaction and also the banking information. Uh, in 2004, uh, Mastercard and Visa card combined to create this uh, PCA DSS that is Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard. In this uh, payment card industry data security standard, uh, they mainly focus user data uh, which is uh, stored in the card and also the transaction information and uh, personal information about the user and also the bank. And the next, uh, in 2006, uh, world major five uh, payment card companies that is uh, American Express, um, JCB, Discover, Master and Visa combined to create this uh, PCA SSC that is nothing but Payment Card Industry Security Standard Council. This Payment Card Industry Security Standard Council is mainly used to uh, form uh, to manage these PCA DSS, PA DSS and PTS. What is PCA DSS? As I said before, PCA DSS is nothing but Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard. In this, uh, the uh, bank authority issue the payment card to the user. In this payment card, they used to store the personal information transaction details and also the account details about the user so that uh, they uh, protect their informations, personal information and also the transaction information they, uh, they used to uh, manage this PCA DSS and next one is PA DSS what is PA DSS? PA DSS is nothing but uh, payment application data security standard uh, in this uh, payment application data security standard they uh, mainly focused to secure the software application which is used to provide the transaction and also uh, which is used to authenticate the user information and also the bank information. And next one is PTS. PTS is nothing but PIN Transaction Standard. In this PIN Transaction Security Standard, they uh, mainly used to uh, secure the uh, PIN uh, that is the personal identity number which is uh, given to the user uh, when the transaction they enter they want to enter the pin uh, into the acquire, acquiring bank so that they uh, used to protect the uh, pin numbers for the transaction uh, to improve the security they pro, uh, focus to create this PTS and this PCA DSS is mainly uh, used for user data PA DSS is mainly used for software applications which is used to provide the uh, 
transaction information and also the authentication information. Next one is PTS. PTS is nothing but PIN transaction security standard which is used to provide the security for the devices which are all used to do uh, transactions and also the uh, authentication information about the uh, user and also the bank information. Next one is existing system of this project. Existing system of this project, uh, in, this, in this existing, uh, the normal credit card is not secure because uh, it may be stolen and uh, anyone can uh, know the password by the use of uh, personal information hacking, packet analysis and also the screenshot making. And uh, they also have the possibility to make the screenshot of a password when we enter into the system. If we This is the service authority which is used to provide the service for our request and then uh, in here we want to enter our username and also the password. If uh, the system is not secure or the hacker can use the system means he can able to access the screenshot and uh, he can able to make the screenshot of, of, the, of the login page so that he can easily identify the uh, user information that is uh, username, password and also the personal information. Next one is packet analysis. Packet analysis is nothing but it is also the type of hacking uh, uh, used to uh, trace the information of the user. That is, if we enter into the uh, service authority server and then after that it will be passed to the web server. By the use of web server, web server is nothing but it is a computer or a software device, a software uh, which is used to transfer uh, transfer the uh, response for the incoming uh, client request. If we enter the passwords uh, to the service authority, it will be uh, transferred to this uh, web server. In this web server, we are, the hacker can analyze the packets, what are all the incoming requests to the from the server to the um, system and also the, what are the responses which, which is uh, coming from the server to the user. This is the packet analysis method. In this, they can identify the information about the user and uh, banking information and also the banking uh, transaction information uh, and uh, they can know uh, how much amount in our account and they can identify, easily identify and uh, easily uh, transfer our money to them. And next one is personal information IQ. Personal information hacking is nothing but uh, it is same like uh, packet analysis. In this, uh, he can uh, able to uh, manage the passwords by uh, by uh, according to the assumption of our uh, username, our name, date of birth, and also the personal details like mobile number. If he create passwords by the use of these personal details and he can easily identify what, what is the password he can uh, set for his user accounts and uh, what is, what, uh, next one is proposed system what is the proposed system in this credit card uh, cyber credit card uh, in this cyber credit card system uh, we implement the satellite communication in this uh, by the use of uh, uh, board RFID protocol type B3 for ES by the use of this RFID technology, we can communicate with the uh, cyber credit card that is the device which is provided to the user by the bank authority and also the uh, satellite communication which is communicated with the bank authority. Uh, by the use of this satellite communication, uh, the, which uses the R medium to transfer the request and response so the hacker cannot be able to easily identify the uh, password and also the information which is provided to the satellite and also the information which is from the satellite to the user. And next one is one time password. Uh, which is the most advantage of this pro uh, project because uh, whenever the user want to uh, user uh, want to uh, service from the service authority he can uh, request to the uh, bank authority. The bank authority have the communication between the satellite and uh, the satellite uh, by the by the request from the bank authority, the satellite uh, generate one one time password and it will send to the bank authority as well as the client. This is the illust simple illustration to the one time password.
this is the card holder which is the who is having the cyber credit card and uh, this is the bank authority they used it to communicate by the uh, use of the web server which is the online transaction this bank authority have the communication with the satellite by the use of this RFID protocol and uh, uh, whenever the request sent from the user to the bank authority through the web server the bank authority will check the satellite communication after that it will be uh, send the request to the satellite communication uh, sorry satellite and uh, the satellite will provide the one time password to, to the card holder as well as the bank authority then uh, whenever the user want to enter the uh, one time password in this uh, service authority server and the one time password is generated uh, transferred to the web server sorry bank authority that is the acquiring bank uh, by the use of web server then once the password is uh, matched uh, the next uh, transaction is allowed by the bank authority next one is secured card secured card is nothing but um, this is the embedded microprocessor secured, uh, secured my, uh, cyber credit card in this uh, full, uh, which is a fully digital, digitalized card in this we have uh, 12 um, buttons uh, and also the touch display and uh, we have uh, 14 into 8 pixels display uh, in this we can only able to uh, receive the password uh, by the use of the power button and uh, next one is modules of the cyber credit card systems there are mainly three modules in this project that is card process authentication process and also the transaction process first one is card process card process is nothing but the cyber credit card with the uh, embedded microprocessor security in this cyber credit card we have uh, as uh, as the normal credit card in this also we have the magnetic strip which is used to swipe and also uh, we can able to tran uh, transfer the money from the uh, bank through the card and uh, next one is um, 14 to 8 pixels display this uh, display is used to uh, display the password which is coming from the satellite uh, by the request of uh, bank authority and we, we have the power button which is, whenever we want to uh, service from the service authority if we on the button we can receive the uh, one time password if you on the button the request is sent to the bank authority the bank authority will uh, given the request to the satellite the satellite will send uh, password to both the uh, user and also the bank authority and uh, in this uh, we have a embedded microprocessor and also the half size antenna that is inbuilt in the cyber credit card uh, in this we have a board uh, RFID protocol type V3 for ES this is the RFID protocol which we use in this uh, cyber credit card and in this cyber credit card we use it to store our uh, personal information like uh, uh, name, uh, username and also the uh, account holder uh, information like uh, address, phone number and also the personal information and uh, this is the card which we use for this cyber credit card system next one is authentication process Authentication process is necessary. Uh, why? Because the anyone can uh, easily uh, hack the uh, username and password of the user, uh, and uh, the bank authority can provide by the uh, request from the user, and also if the password match, they can provide the service. And in this cyber credit card system, the authentication uh, process is very uh, secure because we have the satellite communication, and also we have the um, one-time password process.
this is the card holder who, who want uh, service from the service authority and this card holder uh, given the request to the this card holder given the request to the card uh, service authority to for the request uh, for the service and uh, he, he want to enter the username and password which is necessary to get the service from the service authority after the the username and password is transferred to the uh, authentication that means acquiring bank by the use of web server after that uh, if the password is right uh, correct and uh, the next process is the acquiring bank will communicate with the satellite who is having the right password after that uh, the acquiring bank will request to the satellite to send the one time password uh, the satellite will send the one time password to this uh, card holder uh, as well as the acquiring bank if the uh, one time password is matched with the uh, card holder and the uh, acquiring bank and after that the authentication process is successful after that it will be provide the transaction rights to the uh, service bank who is uh, who want to provide the service this is the authentication process which we done in this cyber credit card systems next one is transaction uh, transaction process is nothing but the whole authentication process uh, when when which is successful after that the authentication that means uh, acquiring bank which is communicate with the service bank uh, in this uh, he want to the acquiring bank will uh, want to provide uh, personal information and also the transaction information to the uh, service bank the service bank uh, when the details the user entered and also the uh, acquiring bank's details is matched the when the transaction is completed and uh, this is the transaction process with the secured manner by the use of the one time password and also the satellite communications with the use of the RFID protocol that is RFID technology next one is advantages of these cyber credit card systems uh, in these cyber credit card systems uh, which is uh, uh, more secured because of uh, satellite communication by the use of RFID technology in this we are using the offsite antenna which is inbuilt in the cyber credit card so that uh, if anybody hack or if anybody uh, uh, stole the credit card he, uh, we can easily identify the, where the card it is and uh, next one is one time password uh, because of the one time password we cannot able to identify what the password for the next process and also uh, the bank authority cannot able to find the password what is the password for the next transaction so that uh, the current transaction is only uh, accessed by the user the next transaction is uh, um, belongs to this satellite computer and next one is secure card in this secure card we have the embedded microprocessor so that uh, and also the rfid protocol uh, in this we are having the we store the um, information in the rfid tags so that uh, if we store the in cyber credit card that is the card which is given by the bank authority we can easily identify the where it is and that's all about the cyber credit card system thank you